good afternoon, morning, whenever you're watching this. Um, my name is Ryan, and I wanted to take a second today and kind of give you my first impressions of the All Star Cobalt chest protector. Now, a little bit of background on why. Why did I want to bring this to, to a video to YouTube? Well, the reason is there have been a lot of reviews on um, different chest protectors across the board. There's been some, some videos on like umpatire.com and things like that um, to review the product, but nobody's ever really kind of looked at it, given a really hard first impression of it and kind of given the reasons why. So I'm going to hopefully today take a look at it, my first impressions, um, then I'm going to um, also give you kind of a comparison against my West Vest and um, hopefully then you'll be able to see kind of why I make why I'm making that switch um, the reasons why I looked at the all-star uh, cobalt X XR um, I believe it's called an XR um, the reason I, I looked at it um, all the reviews talked about how much slimmer it was, how much of a nicer profile it was, how you got, for a skinny guy like me, how we could get uh, a much more presentable plate appearance. And, and f for all of my impressions thus far, I haven't called a single game in it yet, um, but I think it's going gonna, it's gonna to meet those needs while still offering good enough protection that I'm not worried at the higher level ball, you know, 18U travel ball, high school varsity ball, um, uh, college level ball um, I obviously I, I do high school ball I've done 18 new travel ball and my ultimate goal this year I, I did the NCAA stuff gonna get to college um, and I want that presentation on the field to be of, of professional quality so um, I'll grab the vest here and we'll get started right off the box uh, right off the bat First thing I noticed about the vest, it is much sturdier than I uh, anticipated, and that is something I was really concerned about. Um, it does have a very thin profile, but within that thin profile is a very dense vest that I think is going to offer very, very good protection for me. Um, just so you guys are aware, I'm five foot uh, seven, five foot eight, somewhere in between. Um, I weigh right around 150, 160 pounds give or take um, my waist I have a 30 inch a 32 inch waist and a 30 inch inseam um, so I'm not a big guy um, I don't have a lot of extra padding I don't have a lot of body fat um, I definitely want something that's going to offer protection and uh, I don't have a whole lot of extra to absorb a hit if it's coming right at me so I definitely wanted something that was going to offer protection and I'll be honest the West Vest offered that um, and I think this is going to offer that as well. Um, the first things that I did, I tried it on with everything on it. Um, it has a shoulder cap. I've taken those off. Um, it takes two screws right here. You can take these two screws out, pull that shoulder cap off, and then I slid it back in, screwed it back down. Um, very narrow, very sleek looking profile. And then I also took um, this bottom panel off. This whole bottom panel can come off right here and I took it off initially, and then I put it back on. Um, one thing, if I'm gonna, um, and, and surprise, surprise, I'm gonna give it a five-star review. I think it's a phenomenal vest. One thing I wish they would've done is given a way to put like the soft padding on and take this hard section off. Uh, the way it's currently designed, you take it all off, which I felt it left like my lower two ribs exposed. Um, I felt like that was a bit of a concern for me. So I went ahead and put it back on. It's a little stiff down there. I think after a couple days in the heat calling baseball games, I think it's going to loosen up as with anything and become more flexible. Um, as for fit and finish, um, it, it is pre-bent across your chest. Um, it, it does fit very, very well. And I will probably grab my uh, shirts and throw a shirt on. Um, here at the end of this just so that you can kind of see uh, what that what that is going to look like um, the only complaints that I had like I said um, the length at the bottom was a little bit long with it on but I think a little short with it off 
And then for some reason up here at the top, on the back of my neck, it rubs just a little bit funny. It doesn't hurt, it's not painful, but I feel a little bit of pressure back there. And I think that that's gonna be remedied also when this vest breaks in a little bit more. Um, I've got infinite adjustments back there if not, but I keep it up above my collarbone. So it, it's, um, it's protecting my collarbone. Um, and I, I just feel a little something pressing on the back of my shoulders. It's not enough to end my day but it's definitely something I feel and I'm hoping that over time it begins to work into a better situation. The other thing I did, these are completely removable. These, uh, what I call armpit pads, are completely removable. Um, I didn't remove them, but I did slide them down. You can, you can actually take them and slide them down a little bit. So I took them and slid them down. They fit right under my arms, just perfectly fine. They're smooth, they're tucked up against my body. I think they're gonna be something that um, you can adjust however you want. Um, I make it a habit not to throw baseballs back very often um, unless the catcher gets hit. And then I'll walk about halfway out there anyhow and throw them because I'm left-handed. Um, and I don't want, um, I, don't like, I don't like to throw baseballs more than I have to. Uh, I'll just put it that way. No, nothing's worse than watching an umpire uh, either lob one over a pitcher's head or not make it there. So I just take it about halfway out and give him a little toss and give it back. But that being said, for those guys that do throw it back, um, you know, that, that ar armpit pad can get in the way. Just remove it. It's not a big deal. Um, so I think the next thing that we need to do, I'm going to put this on, um, and then I'm going to put my West vest on and kind of show you the difference. So stand by. Okay, so I got the uh, Cobalt, All-Star Cobalt on. Um, I want to see, I want to say that the first thing I noticed, like I said, um, how slim it is. Like I said, I'm a slim guy. If you can kind of see, um, this is the bottom pad that I, I took off at first. Um, I would love for it to, to tuck up just a little bit more, but ultimately, I think it's going to be fine, um, especially... As you're bent over, you know, in the slot looking down, you know, I don't think it's going to be that big of an issue. Um, and it should probably, you know, mold and bend once it gets hot, um, especially on a really hot day. Uh, like I said, I took the shoulder pads off. Um, I felt like they just made me look more like the Michelin Man. And I don't need to look, I don't want to look like the Michelin Man. I want to be slim and, um, you know, put together well. And so, obviously, I don't have my plate gear on. I don't have plate pants on. But I did want to show you that for a 5'8", you know, 155-pound guy, um, this, this vest really, really is slim. And I'm, I'm really pleased with how slim it is, number one. But number two, I still feel like it offers a great protection, especially over my heart. And um, ultimately, you know, in the places I'm gonna take a baseball, my shoulders, my chest, you know, maybe here, there's there's plenty of protection, plenty of padding that's gonna prevent that from getting uh, getting to be um, a problem. I did take those shoulder pads off, like I said. Just because I took it off doesn't mean there's a gap there. There is still padding, it's all soft padding, and then there's a strap that goes over the top um, that would hold the outer part to the main vest. and that strap's gonna offer plenty of protection on top of the, the padding. I don't think that it's gonna hit, not to mention how many times are you gonna take a hit right there on top of your shoulder. Um, that just doesn't seem logical. I'm gonna hit more of them. Most of mine have, have come to the upper shoulder here when I've gotten hit. Um, so I'm gonna take this one off, and then the next one you'll see is my West Vest, and hopefully you'll kinda get, um, hopefully you'll kinda get a feel for why I made the switch. Okay, um, taking five minutes here to put my West vest on, just to show you kind of what led me to making the switch. Um, I don't know how well you can see it because the lighting and the filming is not that great, but first things first, when I put it on and you look sideways across me, I look like the dang Michelin man, especially if you look back across me on my back, it like sticks out. So um, this is a West vest platinum. Um, so it's this silverish color one. 
Um, like I said, I'm five foot eight, you know, five foot seven, five foot eight, 150 to 160 pounds, depending. Um, it's, it's bulky. So I have lots of padding, lots of protection. You know, I've taken really hard shots with the West vest. It is not a bad vest, not a bad vest at all. Um, but for skinny guys that want to present a really nice, really refined plate appearance, it's just a bulky vest. Another thing, it took me like five minutes in a workout to get my shirt on over it because it's so bulky, it restricts your movement. <laughs> and trying to get it on, um, sometimes I get caught like on a shoulder pad. I'll have to have another umpire grab it and flip it out so that I can put it on. You know, I feel like I'm getting ready to go um, play a football game. Once again, phenomenal protection. Um, I don't know if I'm going to sell this vest or not. I might keep it just as a backup. But let me tell you guys, um, when it comes to the two vests, um, this, this all-star vest, much skinnier, much easier to get my shirts on. Um, like I said, time will tell on the protection side. I feel like it's going to be good protection. I feel like I'm, I'm safe and I'm confident that going out, to the baseball field, regardless of the age, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have phenomenal protection across my chest, across my shoulders. Um, and like I said, on those tournament days when you're running like six games that day, and you're doing the first two on the plate, and then you got to go change your change and get into your plate gear or get into your base gear, and then you got to come back and do the plate, and you got to throw all this stuff on. You don't have time for your shirt to be getting caught up, and that's one thing where the um, the all-star vest has, has just, you know, first impressions out of the box, got it today. Those are the first impressions that I've got. And I wanted to put it on YouTube for you guys so that you could, um, if you were a smaller umpire like me, uh, you could, you know, kind of gauge, is it worth 180 bucks? Like, that's a lot of money to spend. It's a lot of game fees. To put onto a vest but um, at the end of the day I truly feel like it's gonna offer superior protection um, I feel like it's gonna be um, slim and uh, you will present yourself much more um, professional on the on the baseball field especially in those higher level tournaments those higher level situations and you won't look like the Michelin man like I said nothing wrong with my West vest absolutely phenomenal vest i've got the replacement harness on the back i think all-star made that um just to make this vest fit a little bit tighter on me but at the end of the day i'm pretty glad i made the switch i'm looking forward to this season um i hope i helped you make your decision on which vest you like to use um and uh like i said leave a comment if you have any questions by all means i'm happy to answer them um Look forward to this season, and uh, let's hope 2021 brings some great baseball to all of you. Take care. Bye.